hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is rosina sharon it's been a while since we did a beginner series it's been like a year so we are going back to doing beginner series and today we are going to do how to cut a crease for beginners okay and before you do that kindly subscribe share your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them kamakawa ida i feel like i was rapping on that thing I will be reading all of them come over either and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up with no further ado let us go straight into the video okay guys so the best product to use for this is an eyeshadow base instead of just a concealer and we're going to use the P. Lewis eyeshadow base for this and bear in mind we used a concealer two shades later than our skin tone to clean our eyebrows that is already in our upper lid of the eye okay so what we're going to use uh, to set the eyelids we're going to use, start uh, using the product from the lower lid going up so most of the product is concentrated around the lower lid and for this we're using a round of fluffy brush you can use your finger for this but when you're using an eyeshadow base i would recommend you use a brush instead of just uh, your finger and then the product remaining on the brush is what we're going to use to blend it into the concealer on the upper lid we don't want the eyeshadow base to overpower the concealer on the upper lid we don't want it to look like white from low the lower lid going all the way up we want it to blend into the concealer and uh, the eyeshadow we're going to use today is rios from zikal cosmetics and for beginners in an eyeshadow palette there is two types of eyeshadow there is what we call matte which is powder pure powder that is what we call matte eyeshadow powdery no shine to them whatsoever and then there is what we call a shimmery eyeshadow that has a shine to it so on the eyelid space uh, horizontally we have the outer corner and inner corner inner corner is towards the nose region outer corner towards the ear like on the outward side so inner corner outer corner okay and then vertically we have the lower lid and the upper lid lower lid upper lid vertically and then from the lower lid going towards the middle is what we call the crease region so we're just going to define this for beginners so they don't get confused when we start teaching so after our definition when it comes to applying eyeshadow we start with what we call the transition and the safest shade to play with is the brown shade for beginners all transitions are matte shades don't use a shimmer for transition so where to place the transition the first transition starting from the outer corner okay and then just below where your eyebrow is curved around the upper lid and then the third dot just before where your eyebrow starts again around the upper lid so we're starting from the outer corner going towards the inner corner concentrating mostly on the upper lid the three dots should guide you on where exactly to place your first transition and we are using a round a small round fluffy brush and when it comes to application of this you tap it in for the first transition tap it in don't use circular motions for the first transition because we want to get as much pigment from the eyeshadow as we can get so tap 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 so for around the outer corner you just bring it in a bit towards the lower lid just a tiny a tad bit sorry a tad bit and then around the upper lid don't go towards the eyebrow leave a bit of space around the upper side on the eyebrow side okay because you're going to blend the side in and then make sure you bring it outwards around the outer corner a bit so that your guideline should be where your eyebrow stops around the outer corner okay that is where your eyeshadow should also stop around the outer corner okay don't bring it inwards or way outer where the eyebrow stops should be your guideline on where your outer corner transition stops and then uh, to blend in uh, the first transition we're going for a different brush this one is bigger and more fluffier that is what we're going to use uh, to blend in the second transition and the second transition should always be an earth tone again for all transition all transitions should be matte so we're going to use an earth tone to blend in so for earth tones it's normally the orange shades yellow shade and light brown shades those are what we call the earth tones and that is the shade we're going for today and then we are going to blend in the edge of the first transition not above it not below it just around the edge that is where we're starting with the blending and to blend that in we are going to use circular motions very little force and when it comes to how to hold your brush 
don't hold it too close to the bristles give it a bit of space so the bristles have space to move around they can blend in very nicely when they have that space to move around okay so circular motions from the outer corner going towards the inner corner on the upper lid use circular motions very little force okay and around the inner corner when you're blending in the first transition make sure you blend it downwards bring it down blend it in downwards circular motions bringing it in downwards don't go straight up downwards so it's easier for you and it is going to be a very beautiful blend when you do that sorry and then to cut the crease you're going to use the peel with eyeshadow base and we're using a flat brush for this you see how flat the brush is that is what we are going to use you can use the same brush you use to clean your eyebrow and how to place the product on the brush make sure you do it side to side don't dip the brush onto the product okay we want the product to sit on the side of the brush because that is where we are going to use when it comes to drawing the cut crease okay so when it comes to drawing the cut crease where your eyeball ends when you look down you just press there that is exactly where you should be drawing your crease should be your guideline on where to draw your cut crease okay and how to hold the brush make sure your brush is sitting flat don't point it down okay make sure it is sitting flat so look down just in the middle part of the cut crease place you fast and make sure your brush is sitting not pointing okay so that is uh, that should be your guideline on where to draw going down towards the inner corner and where to draw going down towards the outer corner so that is going to be your guideline on exactly where to draw your cut crease or how to draw your cut crease okay and when you're drawing your cut crease tap 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 don't just draw a line from a to z tap it in and make sure your uh, your brush is sitting flat again it's very important for your brush to be sitting down flat okay you tap 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 and i wouldn't recommend you start from the inner corner because most of the product is going to be concentrated around the inner corner and it does not look good when too much cream is around the inner corner okay so use the product remaining on the brush around the inner corner and it should your cut crease sorry should start low from the inner corner don't give it too much space around the inner corner and don't put too much product around the inner corner so tap 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 start by drawing the cut crease first and then you can fill it in later okay i hope you guys are understanding what i'm saying <laughs> and then after that now you can fill in and make sure the size of your cut crease is at least three quarter of the eye horizontally make sure horizontally it goes to at least three quarter not half and then after that when it comes to what shade to apply on the cut crease if you have used cream to cut your crease make sure you go for a matte shade because we want to set that cream if you just go directly to a shimmer on top of it it will not set that is why you get uh, creases around your cut crease it start to crease that is because you went for shimmer directly make sure you set you set sorry you set that area in with a matte shade we're going to use this nude matte shade so it can set that cream fast before you apply shimmer on top of it if you must and uh, the brush to use for this it is uh, flat yes but it has a bit of a uh, fluff to it it's a bit fluffy than uh, the flat brush we use to cut the crease okay that is the best brush to go for so next we're going to use uh, this other shade nude shade just to give the cut crease a bit of color and we're just going to use that around the outer corner making sure we blend it in to the first shade we use and then after that you can use the same shade you use as your first transition or you can choose to add a bit of color most of the time i just add a bit of color and make sure when you're doing this you use very very little product you don't want too much color you know showing around the outer corner of the crease and we're just going to blend the edges the edge of the, the cut crease with that shade okay we blend it into the transition so we don't see that line on the edge of the cut crease and then after that now you can uh, if you don't want to do a winger you can just draw a line a small line as close to your natural lash line as possible and then use the small brush to blend in uh, the edge there to the transition you started off with and make sure you do this while that liner is still wet 
so that would be it from me today guys this tutorial was purely on how to draw a cut crease and i hope you have learned something from this video i made it as detailed as possible for you guys so if you have any suggestions for the next video i should do kindly let me know on the comment section and from me thank you so so much for watching i'll be seeing you on my next video bye